the following game is rated M by the ESRB. Greetings there, ladies and gentlemen. I am James Virgilis, and I'd like to welcome you to my next project for pretty much the month of October. It's it's pretty low, I know it is. Like, it's it getting in there. I've tried to do this a few times already, and it just hasn't actually turned out. But seeing it's the month of October, I wanted to do something freaky. Well, something freaky. Something good. Something good. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Now, I was thinking of doing something modern, but I was like, uh, let's just go take it back to what I was actually pretty much... Not first exposed, because obviously the game that I... It is a, it is the first of a series. I played originally the third one first, and I thought I would play the first one first instead of the third one. And of like, I guess the third one would probably be more make more sense to me because the third one actually was the introduction to this series. But it's more of I want to start from the beginning type of thing, because if I do want to do the second one and the third one and the fourth one then I would like to do them in order, basically. So, major thing is that, obviously, I made a preview video of this. Is, so, this is, obviously, Silent Hill, the first one. And I really don't want to actually show the, the opening cutscene because it does slightly spoil a little bit of things here and there. And But the major story, up to the point, is that Harry our protagonist, has a daughter, Cheryl, and they are on a vacation to Silent Hill after the death of Harry's wife. And on the journey there, there are some unnatural events, and basically Harry spins out, seeing an image of a woman right in front of him, and he spins out. And that's pretty much how it kind of begins. So... Let's get to it. Silent Hill. So, I just want to make sure it's, the options are good. Basically, the brightness level. You got four. Eh. I know that one, obviously, is too dark. Two would just be good, so I'm going to go for... Yeah, we'll do four. And exit. And let's get started. And we're going to do it on normal. Kind of an interesting Resident Evil type feel there, but yeah. so here we have uh, our main protagonist, Harry. He um, seemed has lost his daughter. So uh, let's go check out this the resort, the apparently resort town of Silent Hill. So let us let us get started. So yes, I there is loading times in this, and I probably will be cutting out the loading times because it is a PS1 game, and they are fierce in loading times. It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Yeah, for a resort town, it's pretty quiet, and it's snowing. It's quite interesting. Cheryl. Cheryl's his daughter, so... Let's get going. Uh, well, we can just walk and run, so let's run a little bit down the street. Now, I'm not going to be going insanely crazy. This is going to be a nice, calm, collected type of playthrough. No, that was easy. We just found her down the street, so case closed, game over. Let's do it. She apparently is running away from us for some reason. Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! So let us try to figure out why she is running away. Yes, yeah, Cheryl, come back here. Well, first of all, I'm wondering why is she so fast? All right, so let's go down this alleyway. So yes, I'm. I am playing this in the dark. So. Hopefully, uh, get a little bit more of the atmosphere going on here. 
Okay, she seems to be going over here, so let's take a look. Beware of, beware of dog. Even though it looks like dub. Beware of dub. Oh my god, the, the town has been invaded by dubstep. Oh my god, okay. I'll be definitely aware of it. Yeah, uh, that's something. I really hope that's not Cheryl. Or the dog. So yes, this is, like I said, this is an early PlayStation game. Came out in 99. So it does have somewhat fixed camera angles at points. Like this one. But most of the time you do have somewhat control over the camera, so... Seems pretty quiet around here. Let's see if we can see what's going on here. Is that a siren? What's what's that's the sound? I don't know if you can hear it, but there seems like to be a siren in the background. And it is getting dark. Interesting. And now we got our lucky match or lighter or something. And the snow apparently has turned into rain, so climate change, people. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm not I don't like I'm gonna back here. And just to point out that yes, it is actually here, but oh my goodness, what? That wasn't there a moment ago. That's Kind of spooky. Well, I guess we have to go forward. Wait a minute. Wait, we were just we were just here. But this wheelchair wasn't here. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm saying, Harry. I guess we'll continue. Um what do you think it is, Harry? It's a bloody gurney. But what's a bloody gurney doing in an alleyway? Are we by a hospital? Uh, that gate seems to be not locked or closed or barred up or something. There's a lot of blood around the area, so that's not a good sign. Let's see if we can get out here. Nope. Let's follow the blood mess again. Continue on. Bloody fence. More blood. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is rather strange. What is this? That guy is not having a good day. What's going on here? I do not know, but I don't think we're alone. Oh my goodness. Now these guys are called Grey ch Childs, or Grey Children, I guess. And they will latch onto you. So let's try to escape. There's another one. Let's try to escape, holy cow. We don't have anything to defend ourselves right now, just apparently light. Oh my goodness, what the... A fence? That wasn't here a moment ago. Oh my goodness, we're, we're, we're trapped. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, apparently the children got us. Game over, folks. But luckily, I guess, that was all a dream. And apparently we're not alone. She seems friendly. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. 
I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. All right. So it seems like Sybil is a little more civilized around this, this area. I was going to make a, of a comment about saying, she's saying, it's dangerous out there. And I was going to say, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And she hands her the gun, but nevertheless. So, yes, uh, here we are. So let us take a look at what we got. She gave us a gun. Let us equip it. So we are armed and ready. So she said to be cautious of who we're firing at. Well, so far we have come across, well, nothing but strange occurrences. So hopefully they're not, hopefully they're not human. Okay, we found something on this. It's a radio, but it's broken. Okay, well, I guess we... Why carry around extra stuff? So here on the table, we have... A health drink. And... Possibly one of the... Not, I wouldn't say worse, but it's just not exactly a great melee weapon. The kitchen knife. But it is nevertheless a melee weapon, just in case we run out of bullets, which might happen, but probably not. Over here we have another health drink, a flashlight, and a map of the residential area, which is definitely going to come in handy. And what was that? Curious thing out the window. All right, so if we actually want to save our game, Harry uh, writes his thoughts and experiences on random notepads throughout the town. So, yeah, let's 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 do that. All right, let's save here. Yes. All right. 
And let's uh, do a little bit more exploring, like this pinball machine. Come on, Harry, don't you want to play some pinball? Come on. Okay, okay, well, I guess... I guess we'll continue on. So that's about it for the diner, so let's let's continue on outside. It's curious. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? It's making an eerie sound. Holy jeez, what? Holy cow, okay. Um, I think we should use that gun. I don't think any human has wings. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Yeah, I don't think any human has wings and that could fly, so and it flow, so I don't think the melee weapon would actually be very effective. Alrighty, so let us. Oh, yes, 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 Harry. Maybe we should take that radio, seeing that it did save our asses. So yes, so let's uh, let's pick that up. So yes, the pocket radio will actually alert us to enemies while making kind of a static E sound. So let us continue outside. That's a good question. Well, I guess that's a good place to start. And we were just in Cafe 5 to 2, and we will be going down Bachman and over to Finley and down the alleyway. All right. So we are going to be walking a lot. So we got some hand on bullets over here. And we are going to go up... To I'm not really going to be fighting enemies a lot because all they're going to be is those bat-like enemies, which are called, I think, air screamers. And we are going to encounter like a flesh-like dog, and I think those are called growlers or groaners. I think they're called groaners. And we have the radio going off, so where is it? There we have a screamer right there. No, I don't think you're going anywhere, buddy. And we gotta... F okay. If they do go to the ground, sometimes they still are alive, and you gotta kick them to make sure they're dead. So we're gonna go in this convenience store. Just for uh, a little bit of supplies here and there. Wow. Kinda looks like... There's not too much going on here, man. Town is barren. Like I said, for a resort town, it's really not really too um, filled with people and anything. So we've got a couple of health drinks here. They will definitely come in handy throughout our journey of going through Silent Hill. We've got a save point here also if we want to choose to save. Nothing seems to be going on here. Do you have to say this Colleen? Kind of reminds me, we got a first aid kit there. I totally forgot before I... This kind of does remind me of like this, just this, like this area. It just kind of reminds me of like a Fallout 3 type feel to it. But anyway, going on here. We are going to go over on Finley through the alleyway, but we're going to be doing that in the next one. And, well, yeah, let's just get right to it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.